Welcome. Today's lesson is how to use the soil textural triangle. This triangle will allow us to be able to determine the soil texture from the samples that we take either from the lab or from the field. To give you a little bit better perspective of how this triangle works, uh, it's broken into three pieces. Clay, silt, right here, and then sand. If you take a look at the clay area first, you'll notice it goes from the bottom, which is 0%, all the way to the 100% at, at its apex. Then when we look at the silt component, which is located here on the right, uh, it uh, actually goes from 0 at the apex all the way to the 100 at, at the corner, the right corner. And then lastly, when we take a look at the sand separate, it's going to start on the left-hand side at 100% and work our, ourself back over here to 0%. So uh, when we are reading this, I just want you to keep in perspective, clay, uh, silt, and then sand. And uh, today what we're going to uh, uh, do is we're going to first of all take a look at this problem set. You have, you've been given a problem set with a variety of different problems. You've uh, actually collected, we're going to pretend you've collected all these different soil uh, types. And then, we, and then we have all the percentages because we've sent it to a lab, uh, for instance. And we're first of all going to look at 75% sand. That's our first sample. It has 75% sand, 10% silt, and 15% clay. And if you look at it, all three of those should equal 100. If they don't, then there's something flawed with, with the sample and how it was calculated. So 75 plus 10 percent, or excuse me, plus 10, 10, which is a percentage of silt, is 85% between those two uh, soil separates. When we take a look at percent clay, that's 15. 15 plus 85 is 100. That's how it should work. So let's go ahead and draw our first line. It's going to start at the clay, excuse me, at the sand, and, and that's going to start at 75%. So it's between 70 and 80%. That's where we're going to draw our first line. And when we draw that line, it goes from 75 all the way to the other side, which is clay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the silt side. The silt is at 10%. So we should start our line right here at 10%. So we bring in the line. We're going to draw it right to there. So if you notice right now, we have that intersection of the two of the lines. Sand and silt actually intersect at the line that basically says sandy loam. Now, a loam soil is kind of the sweet spot, the, um, the most ideal kind of, of soil. It has the right amount of sand, silt, and clay. This one, obviously, is going to have a little bit more sand. But we have to, first of all, to make sure uh, we're correct, we have to draw this line at 15% at clay. And that's, of course, over here right here in the, in the clay separate. And that should be between uh, 10 and 20. So let's go ahead and draw that line. And there it is. And now when with all of those lines intersect, that will be our texture for that sample. So let's take a look. We've left a red dot in its place, and it indeed is a sandy loam. So we have a sandy loam, and it behaves a certain way. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that at the end of the video today. So let's try one more. Uh, this is uh, sample number B, or letter B. And we have 10% sand, 83% silt, and then on the clay side we have 7%. We add those all of those up, and of course it's 100%. 10 plus 83 is 93, plus 7 is 100%. So let's go ahead and draw the first one, which is sand at 10%. And the sand is right down here. So we're going to draw that one first. And it draws a line straight up to around 90 over on the clay section. Then we're going to get uh, on the silt side, which is over here. And it's going to be 83%. So it should be just past the 80 uh, and uh, at least on the 80% side rather than the 90. So we're going to um, go ahead and do that. And notice how those arrows go uh, kind of down. If you notice these little lines here, they kind of help you draw the lines. And in this case right here, uh, we just drew the line straight down to follow that line. And then lastly, 7% clay. And that's coming from the clay side all the way over to the silt side. And where those three li lines intersect is where we're going to put our dot uh, for the, the, the kind of soil that we have. And according to this, it's silt. It's mostly silt. So that means it's going to be kind of medium in, in, its, in its characteristics for water infiltration, aeration, and some workability. So uh, what we have here is we've called the texture a silt. Now, on letter C, we have a bit of a problem. We don't have that reading percent of silt. 
But we have the other two readings, so let me show you how that works. So we're going to take 42, and then we add 37 to it. And when we do that, we get a number 79. Now, that is basically the, the um, sand and the clay added together. Now what we need to do is we need to convert that to the silt. So we're going to subtract the 79 from 100. And then what we're going to uh, do is we're going to get this number, 21%. And then we're going to put it right where it is uh, done. So uh, that's what you, what you will uh, be able to, to do, I hope. And um, at least I've given you some uh, helpful hints on how to complete the rest of the chart. And then you can draw all the, the other arrows and do it for yourself. So let's take a look at our next thing. Now, obviously, you're going to be taking care of all of this on your own. Now, the next uh, part of this is to figure out what the properties are. There's another um, part to this is there's a soil texture of properties. At the top, you have some of the properties that you may have to uh, fill in uh, from uh, nutrient holding capacity to water infiltration to water holding capacity, aeration, and workability. For this assignment, you have three, water infiltration, you have aeration, and of course you have workability. So let's uh, let's do the uh, silt one first because that was just the one we just did. And if you notice uh, on this one, it's all going to be medium. Water infiltration is medium, uh, aeration is medium, and workability is a uh, 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 medium. Well, that's because, well, if you look at uh, right here, we go to silt, it's all medium all the way across. Because remember, silt is kind of the medium-sized... Uh, a soil particle in all the minerals of clay, silt, and uh, sand. Silt is the one in the middle. And now, now if we were to c classify sandy loam, for instance, now loam, as you look down here, is medium in everything, kind of like silt. Now, if you look at sandy loam, it's going to be kind of somewhere in between of all of this. So, because I've worked in... Um, sandy loam soil before, I can tell you that the water filtration is just that, between uh, good and medium, mostly uh, more in the medium side. Um, it it kind of goes through the, the, the soil uh, uh, profile relatively quick, and as far as the aeration is concerned, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's kind of more on the good side. Um, because it drains uh, fastly, air can, can get into the, into the pore space much more easily. And workability, I would also consider that more on the good side than the medium side. Because even after a heavy run, you can get equipment in and work the soil uh, fairly quickly within a day or two. And it doesn't stay too soggy or too wet for too long. So I hope that has helped you understand how to use the soil textural triangle. And don't forget, uh, finish those up, and I'll see you in the lab. Thanks. Bye.